Hey guys, this is Hardy from Digital Painting Studio. Today I am painting this octopus. This is the mascot animal for one of the new design houses we have created as part of Concept Art Academy. This is one of three, the Octo 8 design house. And that's what I'll have going on in the background. While today we can talk about a really big sweeping philosophical question, which is just how to be your best digital artist. So some sweeping generalizations here, but I think it's something that can help a lot of digital artists out there. And we can break this into four main parts, ways to kind of think about your art and your whole journey as an improving artist, building towards whatever goals you set for yourself as a digital artist. And those four are how you see, how you work, how you evaluate, and finally, how you grow. So let's start with how you see. This is the fun one, maybe my favorite. It's the way we walk through the world, looking at everything through the lens of our artist's eyes. And that can be a really amazing thing. You just deliberately notice all of the beauty and remarkable things that are around us in the world every day. And that makes you imagine some goofy artist walking around the block marveling at blades of grass or something. But it's true, part of a concept artist's job is just to walk around collecting visual interesting things and filing them away in our minds so that we can use them again later. It's a very practical part of the job. We are, we are dealers of ideas after all. But it has all these great side effects. It, it kind of tunes your mind into this other way of seeing things. It makes you really appreciate and very deliberately seek out the beauty in just about everything. And that has all of these really great physical and mental health benefits just seeing the world in this way. I can be really happy stuck at an airport, for example, just because of the people watching, collecting interesting looking faces and hairstyles, filing those things away. Just seeing the world with those artist's eyes is a really key way to become your best self as a digital artist. And that brings us to our next part, how do you work? How do we put this into practice? For me, that all starts with avoiding the paralysis that happens when we look at the blank canvas. So when I started this octopus painting at the beginning of the video, it was just a blank canvas. When you are staring at that white screen, the possibilities are so endless that it's just daunting. There are so many ways you could go with this, even with the assignment of paint an octopus. I could have gone in a million different directions with this. My very best solution for this for myself is just to dive in. Start making some kind of marks and you are off. Once you get that ball rolling, once you get things really moving, that's the best way to just eliminate that paralysis of, my God, what am I going to do? There are just too many directions I could go in. Another thing that you really need to work into your workflow is confidence. It seems kind of obvious, but that is huge. You have to build confidence to know what the next steps are, to keep the process moving forward in the right direction. And that all comes down to process, really developing a formula, a workflow, so that every time you get to one step, you know what you have to do, you do it, and then you move on to the next step. For me, that started with silhouette design here, then some rough outlines, and now we're moving into value on our way to color, and things are just moving along in this process that I have developed over the years, something that I can predictably use to get good results. And we can do that by learning these workflows from other artists. There are so many great resources to get from. There are some key principles about design and painting that we can pick up in places like art school or any number of amazing learning resources. But all of that goes back to confidence, knowing what to do at each step because you've done it before. And that brings me to practice. And I know that just sounds like it sucks when somebody says you need to practice. You need to devote X number of hours a week to practice. You just imagine yourself 
running on a hamster wheel or something, just endlessly stuck at your desk with a timer running saying I have to draw for 30 minutes today. Just sounds bad. But that's where confidence comes from. The next time you sit down to do a digital painting, you're going to know that you can because you have before. Your hand knows those marks to make. Your muscles just have it memorized. Your mind knows that process that you can follow through. And every time you go through that repetition, it just ingrains those skills, that process, that confidence into your workflow. And the next digital painting that you do will be better. And that brings us to how you evaluate. This is hard because to evaluate a painting, you, you sort of have to answer, what is good art? That is a huge question, obviously. That would be a much longer YouTube video. But rather than getting into all of the ins and outs of what is art, what is good art, let's simplify that. This is kind of a better way. Simply define the goal is, did I learn something new with this painting? And this applies to artists of absolutely every skill level. If you are a day one beginner, or if you are a rock star legendary professional, every digital painting that you do, you can set this goal for yourself. Did I learn something new with this? Did I try something I hadn't tried before? Did I actually take a technique or a principle that I learned somewhere and put that into practice? Did I, did I really stretch myself for this? And that brings us to our final point, which is how you grow. Let's make that really simple as well. Be better today than you were yesterday. Wake up each day as an artist and be able to say, I am better today than I have ever been in my life. And if you can do that, if you can keep adding skills and experience and inspiration and stories from your own life, weaving all of that into your art day after day, then that just puts you on a trajectory where you will be able to achieve any career goal you set for yourself as an artist. So paint something cool today. Stretch for something better than what you painted yesterday. And if you really love this, if that moment when something on your screen just starts to work, then you've got it. You're hooked. And you're going to stay on this track with each new attempt. You will grow. So that simple idea is what has really worked for me. I try to wake up each day and be able to say, I am better today than I have ever been before. And tomorrow and every day after that, I'm going to be a little bit better until I am too old to hold a stylus or the robot artist of the future comes to replace me. Let's check out the finished Octoade Octopus. And he's looking cool. I definitely challenged myself on this one, trying a few new things with brushwork that I haven't done before, and I really love the result. I'm gonna take those techniques and use it in my next painting. So I hope you enjoyed this one. Just a heads up, I've got a ton of new content in the works, so be sure to subscribe and keep an eye on the channel. Loads of new videos coming, but also some really fun art contests and live sessions up ahead as well. Until next time, guys, paint something cool. See you later.